clunky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we can get dinner. Do you like burritos? I don't know. I'll have to ask Binge Pipe. Coming soon to Binge Pipe, this. If you love... Binge Pipe is devoted to education, but will still present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, here today, gone tomorrow. I'm Cookie, and this is You Don't Know Jack, the trivia free-for-all that has no rules. But it does have many, many guidelines, and you're expected to follow them all. Eight players? Well, this is... Either a very fun, small get-together, or a very lame party. Alright, here we go. Start the game. Time for question one. To begin with, horsing around. Imagine Sports Center were Sports Centaur. And uh, they, they were all all the centaurs, all the sportscasters. Oh, this is too much setup. Just tell me which of these punchlines contains a portmanteau. The Colts are a shoe in She sells saddles on the sidelines. Will the Broncos win? Nay. Or more like Eli Manhorse. Let's see who got it. Hey, F for effort. A portmanteau blends two words or titles together, a la Eli Manning and Man Horse. And if you cross Peyton Manning with a mule, you get something, something. He's, he's old. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This one's known as... Terror on the side of caution. Those of you who are easily startled might want to just close your eyes and guess for this next question. If you suffer from a tick of phobia, you'll scream in terror when you get this question wrong, you get this question right, we never reveal the correct answer to this question, or this question is full of bees. Okay, let's take a look. Well, we can definitely reveal one of the wrong answers to this question. Achievement-phobia is the fear of success, and if you have it, uh, good news. Atikophobia is the fear of failure, so wrong is right. Why don't we do it with three? Feast your eyes upon this. Grind it like Beckham. And get out your dollar bills because it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read seven names and for each I want you to tell me if it's an English football club that plays in the Premier League or a male strip club. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between an English football club or a male strip club. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Man City. Crystal Palace. fun, you're a bunch of overachievers. Moving right along. I don't need you anymore. 
It's time for Time of Death. Which of these points on the calendar is named after a man who was assassinated? January, October, July, or May? So who got it? The month of July is named after Julius Caesar, who met his end through numerous backstabbers. Caesar is why I don't trust any of my co-workers, just my cats. Et tu, kitty? Et tu, mayonnaise? Up next, my car runs on dead dinosaurs. I just got a Jurassic parking fee that's the same as the length of the Jurassic era. How much do I have to pay? Eight million dollars, fifty-four million dollars, four hundred thirty million dollars, or one billion dollars? Okay, what'd you pick? The Jurassic period lasted about 54 million years. It may seem like a lot to pay for parking, but it's still cheaper than taking a rideshare during peak hours. That's the end of round one. Remember, these numbers also serve as your personality rankings. Currently, these players are tied for the lead. Player seven, on the other hand, maybe you should try winning. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Really good stuff. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. I call this one dealer or no dealer. All right, just just be cool about this, but who's holding the neighbor in To Kill a Mockingbird, the narrator in The Catcher in the Rye, the rich guy? So watch out. Player seven has screwed you all. Let's make you guys a bit more secure. Hope you like what you picked. Um, excuse me. <laughs> this what you had in mind? Holden Caulfield is the narrator and main character of J.D. Salinger's famous novel, The Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> but, uh, more specifically, who, who has drugs? Nice use of the screw player seven. Spend this wisely. Last pair should mocha de moi. Set. How about this one? Type equals squiggly bracket male comma singer squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. I've been told Binge Pipe loves all of its users uh, equally. But can you help us separate our celebrity user data from the rest of the normals? Is Rat Pack available? Is Kendaman available? Is Merbajing available. Whose DMV search history have we acquired? Sammy Davis Jr., Bobby Darin, Frank Sinatra, or Louis Armstrong? Who picked what? You will recover from this. <laughs> this would have worked. Sammy Davis Jr. was a member of the Rat Pack and famous for singing The Candyman and Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Davis Jr. was not a real rat, but like 85% of our users, he was a mammal. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Introducing What is Vexing Brother Josh? And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, eyes up, here we go. Take a look at the gibberish phrase and tell me which popular advice it rhymes with. 
Bro Josh been too chagrined. And don't worry about that punctuation. Disregard the risk. could end badly. Toss your worries into a gale. Okay, what was it? Oh, and player two, I saw what you typed. Okay, but frankly, I'm over it. Look, I've been doing this for 20 years, so if, if you... Wait. No, that can't be right, not 20 years. I still look so young in my headshot. Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Now, on with the game. There's no hiding from pillow talk. If my memory foam pillow had the short-term memory of an average adult, how many things could it retain at once? One to two of my quiet sobs, five to nine of my lonely moans, 15 to 18 of my nightmare shrieks, or 30 to 35 of my dramatic wails. So what'd you pick? This might be discouraging. The average person can retain between five to nine items in their short-term memory. But long-term memory can hold an infinite number of regrets. Oh, here's a good one. Ordering Amazons on Amazon. William Moulton Marston, creator of Wonder Woman, also helped invent something in real life that has properties kind of like which of her fictional weapons? Her invisible plane, her lasso of truth, her bullet deflecting bracelets, or her girdle of Hippolyta? I love this part. That's not even hers, it's her mother's. Marston helped create the polygraph machine, which, like the lasso, gets to the truth of the matter. My own personal lasso of truth is a big glass of gin and vermouth. Yeah, martinis make me chatty. Ow. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Names that stand for something. Pick the words that the acronyms stand for. Good luck.
Warrior 7 wins! I gotta hand it to you, Player 7. You won. Anyone you wanna thank? Too bad we don't have time. You don't know Jack! What though, man? Life is different now. Life is different, especially kids. All you hear now is, can I have screen time? Can I have screen time? My nephew kept asking me that question, and I said, sure. And then I plopped him in front of my screen door. I said, that was my screen time as a kid. I have an irrational fear of change. I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're 